Alrighty, new year, new videos. Time for an update on the Tirana behind me. So you would have seen last month in December, I think it obviously would have been that we laid some color on the Tirana and it's coming out pretty good. So we've had a bit of a Christmas holiday break. We've gone away to Summonats with the uh, VL in the meantime. Been focusing on some other things and not the Tirana so much. So we're getting back into the Tirana now. Uh, Dad's been ticking away on it as well while I was away, making a bit of progress. The car's starting to look really good. So. Um, engine bay is now painted. There's been a whole heap of stuff that's been wet, sanded and polished, so it's starting to come along really well. I will spin the camera around and we'll take you for a walk through the booth. The car's sitting in now. It's currently 41 degrees today, so we've got the air con on in there and it is absolutely stinking hot out here. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So I'll show you in here just briefly. So in the last video, you would have seen that the car was um, pretty much a bare shell with no hanging panels. Now all the hanging panels have been put back onto the car. They were masked around the hinges as well so that when the doors go back on, all of the hinges go back into the same spot. So especially when it comes time to doing the blackouts around all of these door frames and the satin black, most of the gaps are pretty spot on. There's a little bit um, of a discrepancy in the black which you might see, but the blacks on the tops of the doors at the moment is only a little bit of a guide coat. It's, it's not what it's going to be like and it's not the tape line. So. Um, don't get your knickers in a knot if you see that the doors might look a little bit out. They're close, they've still got to be gapped 100% um, yet. The whole body shell on the outside has been blocked down up to two and a half thousand, and it's uh, only cut back with a number one cut. So I use a 3M product which does a one, a two, and also a three, which is super fine. And obviously through those different grades, you use a different pad as well on the uh, dual action buff. So, Getting all the fine scratches out from the wet sanding, we'll cut the whole car with a rotary buff first with a, a lamb's wall. That removes 99% or 95% probably percent of the uh, scratches or imperfections in the paint. And then we'll go ahead and use the yellow pad and a number one with the dual action buff and that goes along and gets out most of the marks in the car. And it also helps using a dual action buff, it remains nice and flat. So you're not dipping the pad on the side and cutting out any panels or um, I guess cutting out any paint to get a, a ripple effect. So it keeps it nice and flat like an orbital sander and it goes into a, uh, a rotary kind of motion and it, it, it gives a better result. So I'll talk you through and I'll also show you the polish I use. There's so many different brands of polishes now, um, but this is the one that works best for us and always gives a really good result. So I'll spin that camera around and you'll be able to see that the body now is only done with a one and it is looking really good. So like I said, still on the number one, it's pretty good. Um, there's a lot of area that's obviously been wet sanded and cut back here and it's already looking really flat. It's coming out really good. The paint job is, I mean, it ain't no show car, but this is coming up absolutely mint. So there's a couple imperfections here and there in the car but keeping in mind that it's only going to be a cruiser. So um, people were assuming that maybe this was gonna be a Summonats car or a top 60, but it is literally just a cruiser. So nothing too fancy. The marks that you might see in the roof on the camera showing up is a lot of fluff. So the car is covered in a bit of fluff from uh, the buffing process. So, but it's coming out really good. Hopefully the lighting will uh, reflect a lot of that um, in the panels. So it's coming out nice and flat. It isn't 100% finished yet, obviously, so once we get into getting the car all assembled and back together, it'll be uh, even better to get along and go along with the car with a number two, and then also finish it off in a three. So you'll also see up here, all, all the partial shelf before that was green from the last paint job is now all blacked out in the areas that it was green. Got a bit of lolly water here and there, obviously from sanding, but uh, all the dash, that's been done in a 2K eggshell satin black as well. Just so when you put the window in, it's nice and clean along the top. All in the cow panel is nice and satin black. And also gone ahead and dad has just stone guarded all inside all of the wheel wells. So front and back is just nice and clean. It was already cleaned up before and painted black, but just with a brush. So now it's got some sound deadener in there. It's nice and clean. Um, I've sat the flares on there, obviously, as you can see, there was a little bit of a gap here that was a bit funny. So I've just sat a rubber under there to try and even out the gap across here as it had a bit of a dip in it. And then we might have to glue that up here as there is not a bolt up higher, but 
it's starting to look good. The car's getting there. Um, obviously, you would have noticed at the start as well that the engine bay is now painted. So, like I said, it's nothing over the top. This car, it's only meant to be a cruiser. So, have cleaned it up the bare minimum and put it back just nice and neat. So, the way it would have been out the factory, but a little bit cleaner. So, a lot of the wiring is hidden in spots where we could. And then just factory brake lines run through the factory holes. Heater box all cleaned up. Uh, the motor just painted satin black. Just a general clean up. Had a spare wiper motor cover that was chrome when we did the hatchback as well. Um, and the engine bay is yet to be obviously all rubbed back as well, but it's uh, that's just off the gun. And I mean, it's probably fine to leave the way it is, but we'll probably stand that up and give that a quick polish as well. Radiator got a quick coat of gloss black as well. That looks good along with the fan shroud, which was just a raw aluminium before. So just keeping that all nice and clean. And obviously the radiator support now as well is all uh, satin black headlights back in and starting to assemble some of the parts before obviously they can uh, all be put back together starting to look good obviously you can see the top of this guard is a, uh, a matte finish as the uh, black will be going on that as well so hopefully the light shows up how nice it is all the flares have been bolted back on as uh, obviously while they're on the car it is not easier to rub the flare back while it is bolted down rather than all flimsy as they will get a slight uh, wet sand as well and then we can buff them up too so that'll come up really good going on from that i'll take you across and show you as quickly the the buffing process and the compounds i'm using so um lamb's wool which is really good on the little buff as well as well as a foam pad but um the old 20 to 30, I think this is about 30 years old. My dad's had this buff. It's a old Makita, nine inch sized uh, buff from the eighties. Super, super loud, this thing. So um, ear protection is probably recommended. But uh, like I said, lamb's wool, really good for cutting out all the fine scratches after you've wet sanded that one. And then going across with the dual action buff. So obviously when you, I don't know if that'll work. Yeah, there you go. So it's literally like a rotary, but um, this is dual action, so as you can see the pad doesn't stay in one spot spinning the same as this one does in a normal direction so this is the 3m we use so this one here is two so not that one but this is a one so part number um getting a bit dear now this stuff so i use the one follow it up with a two after with a different colored pad so you go from a, a bit of a rough pad to a uh, a smoother pad and then it'll come out excellent, even after the two. Only in the previous years, only just gone by, worked out that there is a three as well. So we finished off the hatchback in a three as well. And it just adds that extra bit of depth to the clear and it looks amazing. So this is um, no expensive buff. I think this one was about 450 from memory. So it's got variable speed. So you can go from one all the way up to six with uh, the RPM, but never really tend to go that high. So. That works good and in the last obviously previous years only just getting into using the dual action it's amazing how much difference uh the paint comes up and it's starting to look really good and it does pay off it's a bit of a lengthy process the old buffing um tricks so a lot of the time you will send the car off and it'll get detailed but um we tend to have a crack of it a, a crack at it ourselves and it comes up really good so Here's a guard that has been finished off in number one still. So it's got some finer scratches here and there, but it's getting uh, pretty good. So the behind of this guard still yet to be painted black. So we'll do that. And then we'll also paint behind the flare black as well before that goes on, but it's starting to look pretty good. Obviously once it's all painted, then we can get into doing a, uh, a wax polish probably by hand but um, once the car's obviously all together, sorry, we'll be doing that. So I only got the boot left to polish now, which is one of the last hanging panels and then maybe the spoiler, but that is all blocked back with 2000 at this stage. So I'll finish that off with two and a half and then we can get into uh, buffing that one up as well.
just a shorter video this time around guys so just a little update on the Tirana to keep you in the loop and let you know that there is still work progressing on the car so hopefully in the next week or two we can get a roof lining in it and then the windows can go in it and we can start assembling this even more so um, thanks for tuning in on this video we'll keep you all in the loop as best as I can and uh, we'll see you all on the next one cheers